Okay, hello again. I don't know. I don't see any notification on the recent live. So wow, that's quite surprising, you know. Because I don't see the 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 notification. Yeah, sometimes uh, usually Instagram give us a notification about uh, followers about uh, saving life but it just like disappear like that so I'm so sorry because I don't save it you know that's quite surprising because it's all just disappear like that without any notice you know so Yeah, we'll continue yeah so in recent in recent life I don't know something just happened very fast just end uh, life just end and then there's no not, no notification to save the life it's very sad because sometimes you know uh, Instagram is error I don't know but it's okay let's continue Let's continue the life. Okay, now it's Dentin turn. Aduh, sorry banget ya, gak, gak ke-save tuh. Ini tiba-tiba notifikasinya hilang aja gitu. Biasanya ada notifikasi. Okay, Denten. Denten here. I use Miserium Ina. Yeah, basically, this one is direct veneer. So you need to place Denten also until bevel. Until all so make sure you use brush dip with the modeling liquid here That's why I told you before that the direct veneer is more predictable. Since you put the dentin also on the cervical. Uh, I'm so sad because the recent life is gone missing. Yeah, it just disappeared like. I'm so sorry. I should have press the end button before Instagram close by itself. I'm so sorry. Sorry. Now you want to create Memelon. Uh, you will see the truth here. To define the dentin thickness, you have to see it from the incisal. You have to see it up closely by using mirror to find out the thickness whether it's already correct or you need to add more but don't worry for dentin you you can place it um, layer by layer Okay, 
if you see it from the lateral side you can see that you need to place more than thin you have to follow the anatomical structure of the tooth make sure you place it a little bit here Maybe if some of you have recording screen, maybe you can give it to me. Eh? I would appreciate that if you have the copy of my recent life. Send me the link or send me the file. I would appreciate it so that I can upload it in my YouTube. Masih kepikiran hilang <laughs> segitu. Harusnya tadi langsung dipencet N. Karena Instagram kadang suka error. Atau kenapa? Heran. Banyak yang pakai kali ya. Lagi lagi gabut. Ini pasti orang-orang mau naon deh. Okay. If you want to create a memnon, you can easily create it. But I think I suggest you if you want to create memnon here, make sure you have a correct space. Make sure you don't place dent in there, or make sure that you have already have the same length as the other yeah you have to measure the length of the tooth yeah, and the, the tooth next to it because sometimes if you create that uh, freehand technique just like i did tonight because of the distortion when you see it frontally like this the tooth is even uh, longer so that maybe you can uh, you have to cut it more and then the effect or the translucency will be gone so the best way if you want to create translucency you have to use silicon index okay since i don't want to create that I just want to do simple layering or i can use actually i can use uh, my what is it uh, stain yeah, to recreate the opaque halo effect okay so i have blue stain here blue stain Oof. it's too much <laughs> and then I always place a blue stain a little bit three dot one two three this is blue stain yeah no not etching it's not etching this is a blue stain and then you spread it out like this so there's two condition sometimes the mammalon appear to be bluish sometimes the memelan appears to be grayish so if it, if it's uh, if it's young age sometimes appear bluish but if the patient is old but uh, they still have a 
translucency it appears more like grayish so you can use gray stain don't forget to cure Now time for the enamel. One big amount of enamel. Don't worry about the excess. You use spatula like this and then just push. Oops. Haha. <laughs> and then just push gently. Maybe in the next life I will create another section, another session. Maybe you can request in my DM. What is our next topic? Yeah, I will let you choose. So you do the enamel just like tapping, you know, tap, tap like this yeah tapping like this just like you're typing a baby if you have baby maybe you know it if you don't have baby maybe just like you're tapping your girlfriend or your boyfriend <laughs> And then don't forget to use brush, yeah? Brush is mandatory dip with the modeling liquid to guarantee you the very well adapt composite. Yeah. Use any way you want. You can use like this, you can use this like this. Even better if you have magnification because sometimes there's a hair yeah the biggest mystery beside the ufo is the hair appearance in our restoration it's just like mystery make sure you're all covered with the surface yeah If you attend Professor Manjani lecture, he always said that you have the thing that should remind that you should remind in every anterior restoration that you do is controlling the thickness. I'm I'm agree to disagree actually. For me, yeah, yeah. Once again. Feeling, doing feeling is you have a signature I think I mean you, you have a lot of way to deal with any case sometimes you you do the other way sometimes you do A you do B C but as long as the results are predictable Thing you can use so I would I would not I wouldn't say that my technique is the best but you can use it as the option yeah make sure about the excess here so the thing the thing is always put the enamel only one layer here yeah? and you have to add more make sure that you not curing it yet otherwise you will see the appearance of a line white line or junction between each layers 
that's a common question that's a common mistake how is how if the air trap still appear it will happen sometimes and then you can easily correct it you can do small correction by using air abrasion aqua care or your burr yeah if you found it immediately after you are doing filling you can easily remove it <coughs> or if you found it after the follow-up yeah the same you can easily remove it i mean the different is you you don't have to do etching if you find it <coughs> immediately but you find it after the control you have to do you have to repeat all the procedure see the bubble uh, not the bubbles you see the hair yeah the hair is a mystery is the biggest mystery here always there's a hair appear it's coming from the brush I think but I'm sure that the brush is already clean yeah that's the uh, reality if you want to make it a little bit longer it's better here See the thickness is good, yeah. For freehand technique, this is really good. Now time for the subflex. See if you have a thickness. Let's say the thickness is uh, if you have a thick composite excess, you can use burr. But you can make sure that the thick the, the excess is not too thick you can use easily use soft flex directly now, you use soft flex in this way yeah this is a common mistake soft flex come with the uh, non-abrasive non surface and then the abrasive surface make sure that you do this way yeah don't do this way otherwise you can you can see you cannot see the tooth yeah but I, but once again that's preferential the result is the same if you feel that you're comf comfort with that this position it's up to you yeah but my way here is like this so your job is to create a flat surface by using this <clears throat> sometimes if you have this new this it's a bit stiff so to create a more flexible you can do like this yeah just to make it more flexible <clears throat> In front position.
I think I don't have any bubble appears here so it means that my layering is lucky I'm lucky now beside yeah so sometimes bubbles appear but I don't see it I think yeah what I like to <coughs> use rubber dam sometimes you can easily retract rubber dam just like this you have to push the dam out <coughs> so that you can you can uh, reach that area to reduce it perfectly and in this case I don't use rubber dam So there's three anatomy of the interior. The primary anatomy is a transitional line angle. And the primary anatomy means <coughs> the primary anatomy means the one that you always that you make sure you always create it. Because without mandatory anatomy, the tooth will look very fake, you know. So make sure that you create that mandatory anatomy called transitional line angle transitional line angle it like uh, similar to um, you know the idea the principle is the more labial the tooth is the, the more narrow you know so the tooth is not like a square but the more labial is more narrow so make sure that you create that, that transitional line angle the secondary anatomy is the groove the tertiary anatomy the tertiary anatomy is the perichymata the the secondary and tertiary anatomy tertiary anatomy is uh both of them is not mandatory yeah i think it's more like for our satisfaction because the patient uh, will not affect by that condition and uh, i mean the patient cannot see that condition unless uh, you you take a photo and then show it to the patient but the mandatory anatomy is the transitional angle so make sure you have created a very good transitional line angle yeah how to make it i will show you later so remember that this is for flatten on, for flatten all the surface <coughs> So now how to create transitional line angle. <coughs> so basically what you need pencil, pencil, money. You need to have this pencil. So basically what you need to create the line angle is the pencil. Only pencil. So pencil is your instrument now. So the idea is line angle, like I said before, line angle means the more labial, the more narrow. Yeah, maybe similar to uh, uh, shading, you know, uh, for for uh, woman. Yeah, I always see my wife doing a shading for uh, her cheek to make it more yeah skinny or something like that yeah to make it more slim yeah that's the idea come up uh, came came up maybe same thing yeah so basically you have to create that narrower more narrow yeah so this is the line angle 
So line angle basically divided into four area, yeah, the cervical, distal, mesial, and incisal. So basically, the line angle is the mini version of a tooth. So you have to create line angle just like this. Yeah, the mini version of the tooth. So you will create line angle until all the finishing done. Finishing done means all the correct uh, the correct shape of the tooth already good. Yeah, I mean the thickness is good, the length is good, the 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 excess is already gone. It's time for you to create line angle. Yeah, so this is the mini version of a tooth. So there will be two zones here. Yeah, the inside zone, and then the outside zone. The inside zone is the zone uh, is the area, the zone that you need to keep out. Yeah, this is the restricted uh, restricted area yeah, that you need to avoid to reduce. And this one, the outside zone, is the one that you need to reduce. Understand? this one the inside zone is the one that you need to leave yeah don't ever reduce the inside zone yeah I'll repeat that maybe I will turn on command first okay how's the picture how's the how's everything is it good okay What's the voice? Okay, okay, okay. Please, everyone, if you have um, the recording on the first live, you can give it to me. Eh? <coughs> okay, I will repeat the last point. So, to create line angle, make sure that you have create a mini version of a tooth. Yeah, I will draw in this tooth. Yeah, this is natural tooth so basically the mini version of the tooth line angle divided into four area cervical mesial distal and incisal yeah make sure you create the mini version of the tooth yeah i'll draw it like this the mini version of the tooth with your pencil you do line angle after all the finishing done finishing done means you have already create a correct shape correct length correct width correct thickness yeah so that you can create line angle after all already good after all the condition i mean the the thickness the width and everything yeah so you will be yeah you will see that there is two zone here the inside zone inside area is the one that you need to keep out i mean the one that you need to leave this is the restricted area do not ever touch this area yeah and then the outside zone is the one that you need to reduce a little bit the outside zone so the idea of the transitional line angle the third the more labial is the more narrow yeah okay <clears throat> So I will start to reduce the outside zone by using the mini soft flex or you can easily use this is my mini disc yeah no matter brand that you have no matter what you can use that yeah or you can use burr the needle burr or the flame burr Yeah, this is mandatory anatomy means the anatomy that you need to recreate in order to get a very good or very aesthetic interior yeah i do this the other this way yeah don't forget it's this is new this so it's a bit stiff you need to create a more flexible this just doing like this yeah
and then avoid to touch the pencil because you only allow to reduce the outside zone <clears throat> you understand yeah you only allow to reduce the outside zone if you by mistake touching the border touching the pencil you can add it again until you can see the border so basically the idea is the pencil is always is only for your guidance yeah it's not mandatory to do but it's, it'll be, it will be way way easier if you have a guidance right if you already well experienced you don't even need pencil same thing for the measure so line angle basically what you see in my instagram maybe there's a line reflection on the measure that's that's not only the reflection you know it's really hard to create it unless you already know about how to make it okay <clears throat> I will repeat that again so make sure for the line angle you only remove the outside zone the one that you already create the border with your pencil or your pen oops <laughs> now you can <clears throat> you can remove the pencil by using soft flex that you already use maybe for five times just to remove the pencil to make sure everything is flat and smooth it's good yeah <clears throat> remember the disc for a flat pen for flat pen is a face yeah i don't know so flexes always comes with the only one abrasive surface if it is comes back and forth in abrasive surface i think it's more useful yeah Keep it neat, just like the, 
the name yeah how about the pelota she is very good also it's only free hand yeah free hand technique just to check if you want to create um secondary anatomy let's say you can easily make a marking here you can easily marking here yeah make cone form like this the uh, usually the inside uh, the incisal the central incisor has to groove you can easily use use the what is this uh, the burr since i don't have burr here i will use the this better if you use blur yeah it's worth to try uh, if you use this let's see how it goes or you can use reticulating paper just to make sure to create a guidance you know But always remember that the essential thing is the line angle. Line angle is mandatory. Line angle is the one that you always make sure to create in that condition. Yeah. How about perikimata? Perikimata is like fingerprint for the, from the uh, for the tip. Um, for me, perikimata is yeah, it's for our satisfaction. To be honest, Asian is not uh, really don't care about that. So make sure that depends on the tooth next to it, the neighbor tooth. If the neighbor tooth has that characterization, you can replicate it. But for me, yeah, for me, I don't really like to make it because I have the patient. Yeah, I create a very good perikimata. I create a very good groove. But the long, the, the longevity after one year, my polishing is gone. Maybe there's a micro foot infection there, so that's why if you see my Instagram account, I'm very uh, kind of rare to put perikimata or groove because I have I have my reason, but, it, but it's it's up to you. For the patient, maybe it's not mandatory. For us, maybe it's for our satisfaction. Now for the last, you now you can see it very very fast, and you can push, you can push harder. This is not not aggressive. See, this is real speed. I have high standard when it comes to policing. I will never stop until I can see my reflection of my face in two. You should do it intermittent. See? This is just like crown.
have my water, the water here to reduce all the dust. Maybe you can get your micro brush to remove it. the micro brush see this is very good without any kind of bubbles I think I'm lucky now check for the see you can you can see a little bit of bluish here because of stain let's see oh very good Hop. oh very nice Shup. call this more like i told you before yeah i have very high standard when it comes to polishing I want to create a very shiny polishing, very obvious line angle. So sometimes, if maybe my friend is like uh, telling me that I'm a, I'm, I'm a bit of too much when it comes to polishing, I don't care, yeah, because polishing, good polishing, guarantee you. A very good longevity. Yeah, like a crown. This is my restoration. See, freehand technique. Polish more. <laughs> How about the pelta? Oh, pelta is good. You can see you can cut the excess by the bear. Okay. Turn on, come in. So, if you have a question, you can see the question. I can see the question now. I will repeat that all procedure. I think. I mean, um, to answer <coughs> everything. See, this is freehand technique. I'm sorry because. Um, as I promised, this is this is hopeless too, but not too hopeless. I think it's just like big class four, but yeah, I think the principle is the same. Maybe next next, I will create a more complicated case, but I think the principle is the same. Ah uh, yeah, for the recorded uh, recording for the live IG in the uh, first session, please if you have a recording because it stopped suddenly you know it's, it's just stop like this you just stop like I don't know there's no notification maybe some kind of trouble in Instagram so I couldn't save the first yeah maybe if you have if you have that if you have that first record please send me I would be really appreciate that please yeah for this one I think that the thing is the trouble is uh, should uh, press the end button before the, the Instagram close by itself yeah I should have pressed the button end button before it, it 
close by itself but yeah please please if you have it i would be a, i would appreciate this yeah yeah all materials name in the first part and all the lecture i think i think that's a very simple lecture please yeah if you have it <laughs> Okay, I will. Yeah, <laughs> you see the line angle, yeah. Correct. The shape is very beautiful, I think. <laughs> you know, I, I I really like the shape, the shape, the shaping the tooth. You know, when doing shaping from the tooth, when doing especially this, it's like. It's very I'm very comfortable with doing that I can I can do that a whole time I really like to do shaping on that tooth. okay I'll answer the question I have very so many questions here how do you get rid of the step in the pelletal dog oh ini orang Indonesia nih dia kan yang itu pos ini ya itu gampang banget jadi pakai bur just using by using burrs yeah the super fine burst and then you can polish with the if only with if how to reduce black triangle how to reduce black triangle yeah you have to create a very precise contact and you have to measure that but sometimes if you use rubber dam the black triangle will appear because of the retraction of the rubber dam so it's not uh, that's normal and the gum will be the gum will bounce back after a few days name of the policing burst and its brain name policing this from soft flex and uh, Policing uh, twist is from if Germany. The life is blurry. Seriously? Is it blurry? I don't use. I don't use any kind of. I'll show for this I use soft flex yeah? top bagaimana koreksi bagian cervical tidak terdapat step caranya adalah dengan memakai blur atau dengan this it's not blur save the life of course I will save the life please yeah if you have the first session please send me can you put the slides on story um i don't think so maybe i will have a uh, another life and only lecture how about it will be very good it will be very good yeah ah, i don't use policing paste I never use policing place I don't like policing pace but it's preferential but for me policing pace it looks your tooth a little bit of dirty but yeah like I said before that's a preferential you can use this or that but I think the result is the same but for me you can see the result yeah there's no difference any difference with the using of policing paste or not blue stain is from blue stain is from zenit you can use any kind of uh, brand this is zenit zenit is good stain zenit what generation of bonding agent for can you know the timings are you going this class every day <coughs> No, maybe um, 
the day after tomorrow i will do another class do you make the bevel near margin gingiva of course this is direct near what is the name of the brush which brand tokuyama brush untuk apakah tidak menimbulkan rasa sakit ketika memasukkan matrix yang membentuk dinding mesial part distal tidak karena oh ya yeah. <coughs> i forgot to tell you that i always use local anesthesia in every case especially for anterior you do preparation yeah of course you will make the patient uncomfort just to avoid that just to get rid of that feeling that condition yeah otherwise you will you have to uh, make the patient calm every 15 minutes or every 10 minutes unless you do local anesthesia local anesthesia guarantee you comfortness when doing filling so please do local anesthesia don't hesitate to put local anesthesia in every case rpm of the soft flex i never measure that what was you using to hold the file file oh the the adapter i use the one that i use in back then in the university it's like old very old maybe i have i will have a tutorial to create that later on do you give local anesthesia yes do you wet the instrument with the modeling resin yes can you put this demo on youtube of course do you think cerv cervical transitional angle slightly incisal cervical transitional angle slightly incisal what do you mean for real tooth what about prognosis prognosis is good bonding good nowadays bonding is better you know what is the liquid you use with your brush modeling resin will you do a course in england i would love to so with the proximal area never touch with the disc right no you, you you touch it you touch it for creating line angle okay when you when you decide to go for indirect when the patient wants to do indirect i always over the patient to do indirect you know indirect is good for longevity and no matter how good you are indirect is way 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 better than direct but sometimes patient cannot afford that so the only way is to do that restoration how do you deal with bleeding i never do i never dealing with bleeding because i, I use rubber dam but this is only for demo talk about two layers doc for example for a3 shade what is what is your dentin shade and enamel shade <coughs> for the a3 shade you know for dentin you need the you need the opaque one yeah if you have use a2 a1 a a3 that's the universal shade for dentin you need to invest for a premium composite premium composite means the the, the composite that's specifically made for the dentin let's say if you if you use 3m you have a3d yeah a3 dentin if you use mycerium you have ud yeah or any particular brand has that specific dentin if you use only a1 a2 a3 the results are the same you know the re results the same yeah it's a bit of grayish you need a very opaque one because that's universal sometimes a1 a2 a3 it's it's a it's a universal composite it's 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 too grayish yeah it will not block the dark area do you have advice to increase the value of the composite yes you can use the opaque uh you can use the opaquer be, uh, before just before the dentin or you can use white stain yeah depends on the case thank you doctor thank you so much why don't you why you don't use etching of course this is demo otherwise my 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 room here will be f wet will be flood hi doc thanks for the webinar is it necessary to do air block after your final composite layer yes yes of course you can use glycerin to increase um the good polymerization just before you do a uh, final curing so if you use glycerin there will be two sections of curing the first cure is only five seconds and after that you put the glycerin and then you do the final cur curing for at least 20 or 15 or 20 seconds or more can we substitute modeling liquid with bonding agent if we see the theory 
the bonding agent comes with the solvent which is can which is uh, can damage the polymerization it comes with the solvent alcohol and acetone but there's a journal that said that you you can you, you you are allowed to use bonding as long as you use it very thin do you use strips for approximate policing yes if you have it how often do you use surface sunblasting i always use sunblasting Anastasi interligamen apa infiltrasi? Infiltrasi aja. Interligamen sakit. Thank you for sharing. I want to ask what is the level of abrasive or min for minisoflex and is the minisoflex also 3M brand? Yes, but uh, minisoflex from 3M is kind of bit of uh, uh, rare. So I think you must buy it online or you can buy it in the other country or just like me here i use the blue the blue one it's from miserium from ina uh, from miserium from if if sorry from if yeah so i think no matter brand what brand it is you can use as long as it's mini dokter matrix proximo itu pakai seksional matrix pelodin atau khusus matrix untuk gigi anterior pakai matrix untuk seksional untuk posterior tapi bukan yang paloden kalau yang paloden dia bentuknya malah susah nggak kayak gini dong gitu what is the most important when we do anterior restoration oke okay. the most important thing is pertama eh ini bahasa Indonesia lagi what is the, the most important thing is the first bevel second is layering third is polishing and then shaping Mother, can you please give us the link for the live to watch it back? Actually, I will, I would, I will put it on YouTube. But yeah, once again, if you have the first session of my live IG, you can send, you can send it to me. If you have recording, if you record this, please, please give it to me. Yeah. Dok, rekomendasi magnifikasi yang bagus dan terjangkau untuk pemula. Pakai yang minimum tiga setengah. Pertama kali itu tiga setengah. Jangan pakai yang dua setengah. Aduh, pokoknya kalau pakai yang dua setengah itu wasting money banget lah. Pakai yang tiga setengah minimal. Soalnya lama-lama tuh bakal kita bakal minta lebih. Dokter Jabir kasih bro, hello bro. Wow, this is my bro from UK. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you dokter. Banyak marginal lain di area palatal. Bisa di, di just palatal pakai bar. Why did you not create line angles and developmental line angles? Line angle, I already created the line angles. RPM, I never measured that. Big thanks. Okay, doc. I think I will end the live. Thank you so much for all. Yeah, this is the restoration. See uh, how good it is. One minute more until it close. Whoa, my hair. So thank you so much, everyone. Hope we can see in another life, maybe the day after tomorrow. So please, if you have uh, the screen recording on the first session, please give it to me because I want to upload it, upload it in YouTube. So that our live section now today gonna last forever. You can watch it or rewatch it every time you want. Yeah, thank you so much. Uh, hope everything good. Yeah, stay safe, keep healthy, stay at home. Thank you. Bye bye.